Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. Today, uh, this video is the question of the day video. Uh, also, um, we'll talk about comments that I've seen. Now, we know that Windows 11 has a minimum requirement that is very high, but it works on older systems. Um, and actually, I've seen posts today on Reddit of people running Windows 11 on 12-year-old PCs and I'm running it actually myself on what is roughly a 10 year old PC at Toshiba, uh, which is, um, you know, a, a very old uh, Core i5 machine, but, but it, it works really, really well. And of course, we talked about the minimum requirements of, of Windows 11 as being maybe a little too much especially since it is shown that the minimum requirements, you know, when you remove the, the compatibility check, you can actually install it on pretty much anything that is at least a 64-bit system. I've seen some people uh, here on the, uh, on the channel that, that I just removed their comments because they're also like, oh, I'm running on an old Pentium 432-bit. No, it can be. It's a 64-bit system. Uh, some people are just, you know, saying whatever, to get uh, to get some attention, it has to be a 64-bit um, CPU. It's important. It's a minimum requirement. It, it, it has to. Um, also, there are some minimum requirements on the graphics side that might make your system incompatible, not because of its uh, processor, but because the graphics adapter might not have what it takes. But for the most part, a lot of the machines out there that are older then um, what is the minimum requirements can run Windows 11 really well. Uh, you know, and one of the things that I've seen a lot is so many people, and I'm part of those, so many people running it on a old system and saying, you know what, it runs so well, everybody that has unsupported hardware should go there. And of course, I'm not going to say that technically because um, you know, you're in Windows 10, you're happy, that's fine, and you don't, you know, don't start messing around with systems just to, to go there. But my personal observation on my Toshiba machine really shows me that this uh, Windows 11 system is very, very well optimized because it works fast, it works great. When I see people saying it's bloated and slow, it's immediately apparent that you have no idea what you're talking about. It's Windows 10 and Windows 11 have been so well optimized for the hardware and the usage of RAM memory that it runs way faster than Windows 7. Uh, and there's been a lot of tests done on many aspects where it definitely runs faster than Windows 7 in, in 80% of the time. So um, Windows 7 does not have any of that optimization. And actually, Windows 7 on machines when you actually run it for a while runs actually slow um, it's something that uh, maybe people have forgotten after eight years of being so on something else in Windows 7 so the thing is is that it runs so well that yeah it'd be fun if Microsoft would say well you know held with minimum requirements and that would give a I, I would I'm sure it would give a big boost to the uh, update to how many people are actually moving on to Windows 11. I think one of the biggest problems for Windows 11 to move on is that minimum requirement. And that's interesting because it's still one out of four computers that are on Windows 11, even though that minimum requirement is there. So we could say that Windows 11 is somewhat of a success if you think that it has such a stringent minimum requirement that Windows 10 didn't have. Windows 10 grew faster, yes, but it grew faster because it didn't have that minimum requirement. Everybody just moved on. Where Windows 11, it's not the case, but there's a lot of people running on unsupported. And even on Reddit, I was reading comments. The majority of people on Reddit that were actually moving on or answering questions of somebody saying, I'm, I'm thinking of going you know, to install an unsupported, well, the overwhelming majority of comments I've seen just show that, yeah, if people are just like, yeah, you should. You should. Your PC is going to run really well. Um, some people are, are just impressed, and I'm impressed on my Toshiba 10 years. So the question to unsupported viewers out there, all of you that have updated 
even if you're not supported, would you recommend that somebody that has the knowledge to do it, of course, not everybody, but would you recommend installing Windows 11 on a unsupported machine um, moving on forward? That's the question I have for you guys. Technically, if you do have the, the knowledge and are capable of doing it and know what you're doing and know that you can go back to Windows 10 without you know uh, too much of a problem, um, I would probably recommend that you do because these old machines, man, they're running. <laughs> it's, it's, it's surprising. My Toshiba, I'm amazed at how well it goes with that. So that's the question for today. To all of you on there that are unsupported, do you recommend moving on to Windows 11? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe on, on unsupported hardware, of course. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.